Are you always trying to think of the best way to organize your projects, ideas, and thoughts? Are you always checking out different apps and different types of planners to organize yourself? Well, I think I found a great app that you will love. I'm Alicia Vilas, and this is my teacher vlog. <laughs> Here I created my Trello boards. I created these today to play around with it and to show all of you what is possible by using Trello. What I want you to do is, if you think of another way to use Trello, please post it down in the comment section so that we can learn from each other. Maybe I'll show you a board and something else will come to mind. So this is what I created for now. I created an encouragement board. I've seen someone use this board to post any images or quotes on those days when you need encouragement. I'm going back to my Trello board and one other person I saw had a board for his goals. So he had it set up this way. He has it set up for goals for the week, goals for the month, goals for the year, achieved and wish list. He stated the wish list is if there is something materialistic that he wants to get for himself, he may add that wish list here. It's a great way for you to visually see and organize your projects, your ideas, your thoughts. This board came with app that I used to sign up for Trello from my phone and you can create any list you want. So when you think of an idea, you're out and about and you have your phone with you and all of a sudden you think of a website idea, you can type it here. You can create a card and type some information about that idea. And you can keep going back to that idea to add more notes. Since I'm a teacher and I know a few teachers who do create products for teachers pay teachers, you can create a board for that. Teacher pay teachers product creation. There's a couple of different ways. You can click this plus sign up here or just right here, create new board. So you could see, I just click that, give it whatever title, vacation planning. All right, so create. So here's the board. This board is private. The great thing about Trello is that many companies and businesses use Trello to collaborate with others. So right now I have it under private, but you can change it to team to make it visible to other people on your team. I created a team here and all this down here, all these boards are about work. Set up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I added Saturday and Sunday. Cards can contain checklists images, attachments, deadline dates, colored labels, discussion notes. I also have YouTube inspiration for videos, maybe video ideas, content calendar, marketing plan, improving my YouTube channel for work. I have 2017-2018 school year and I can set it up where it's something is in progress, something I'm doing this week, it's on the horizon, maybe something I wanna leave for summer break of 2018. Some people use Trello to organize student assessment data. It's a great way to view data at a glance. The Atom test is a math test that we have to give students about three times a year. I just made this up, but let's say it's September and they take this test and a student had a score of zero to 0 0.9. I can type his name here. Let's say Johnny had a score between 0 and 0 0.9. These three students had a score between 1 and 1.9. These four over here, 2.0 to 2.9, 3.0 and above. Let's say that Jessica just finished taking her test and she had a score from 1 to 1.9. I can just add her there. Another way to use it, you can add notes. So keep in mind, this might be a great way to record anecdotal records on each child. Or when a child is tested and he moves up to a higher level, you can also move students as they progress. So keep that in mind. There's many possibilities, many great ways to use Trello in education with teachers. 
So let's say I am planning my back to school parent night with everybody on my team. We can set it up on things I wanna do, things someone is doing. Like let's say I'm working on the slide presentation and once it's done, I just move it to done. So this is just one way I've seen people set up the boards and their lists. Math small groups, maybe you have it set up into topics or it could be reading and you have skills and strategies up here and as you are looking at their assessments or you're having your conferences, you're noticing certain students struggle and you wanna meet with them in small groups, you can just add their name. Again, let's say Jessica is struggling with place value. You can add her name. You can again go take notes on a particular student. And keep in mind, right now I have this set to private, but I can have it add the team teacher who works with me so that we both can add notes on a particular student. Maybe I'm planning my math topics for the year. Early on in the school year, I will cover place value and I found a great place value game. I added the website here that I click this link and it will take me to that place value hockey game. Maybe there's a newsletter and you want to do this with the people on your team and you could set up the week of September 11th, the week of September 18th, week of September 25th and we can all add different cards to help complete the newsletter. I did see a few people who mentioned you can add students and parents to any of the boards. So just keep that in mind. If you think of a way to use Trello and think of a board in which you can share it with students or parents, post it in the comment section below and share that with us. I saw one teacher create science unit plans. For example, let's say ocean. Right now I'm in the process where I'm aligning the unit to the standards. Maybe once I'm looking for resource books to use and I'm going to the library, I can leave that here just to remind me where I am with a particular unit. Another great tool for people who work together to complete units or if you're on a curriculum team at work, another great way to work with other people. Maybe I'm planning my assessments. I'm finding internet resources. I'm writing the lesson plan. So this can show you the process you use for a project that you have. In the comment section below, share with us any great ways that you may use Trello or you do not use Trello, but you thought of a great way to make our job as educators easier. There are a couple of other things that are great about Trello. Definitely need to remember that Trello is free. There was one great tip in which someone stated that when he launches his computer, he makes sure the Trello website opens up sort of like his homepage so that he can see his to-do list and his goals each day. I thought that was a great tip. So remember, you can do this for courses that you have. This may work for blog posts. Some people create a board for their password and affiliate links. Some people have particular jobs outside of work and they have clients, so they have a list for each client. I've seen one teacher create a board for her status of the class. For example, if you're a writing teacher and you want to begin your class by finding out where they are in the writing process, you can type pre-writing, first draft, and so on, and just add names of students. And Johnny today was in pre-writing. Tomorrow he might be in doing his first draft. So you add a card, okay? So you can move his card tomorrow. He's in that part of the writing process. I've seen people use it as a day-to-day -day group rotation to keep track of what students are choosing to work on in small independent groups. Another great thing is that you can integrate any of your Trello boards calendars with your Google Calendar. Let's see my weekly to-do. I go to show more where it says power ups and you says turn your Trello boards into living applications through additional features and integrations. There is a fee if you choose more than one application for each board. So you can choose one application. So if you go to calendar right here and you enable it, there is a link here, your personal iCalendar feed. So you get that URL and then you go to your Google Calendar 
And down here where it says other calendars, you click this arrow down here. It says add by URL. You type it in there and you just add it to your calendar. So that's a great way to integrate your Trello boards calendars with your Google Calendar if that's something you are interested in. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna disable it. But another great app is Google Drive. Keep that in mind that you can get a link for a document that you have or something that you wanna share with others so that all of you can collaborate and work on that particular project. So you can enable Google Drive. So that's another great thing about Trello. I hope you learned quite a bit about the app Trello and you can find ways to organize your boards to help make your job easier. Remember that this app can be used on your computer. You can use the app on your phone. All right, so as you can see, I have the app on my phone. So if I'm doing some form of exercise and I just thought of something that I want to remember, it could be an idea for my YouTube channel or something for school. I just go find YouTube inspiration, for example, for videos. I click that, I add a card and I could just add it on here on my phone. Also, if you're in your classroom and you have an iPad, you can get the Trello app as well. It's a free app and here is the boards on my app and I can walk around as students are completing their math assignment or as they're reading independently and I can jot down anecdotal records on each student. For example, under math small groups, I go there and I'm noticing that Michael is having a difficult time with place value. I can add his name there and any notes on that particular student. I think this is a wonderful app. Hope you enjoy it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.